Hello, this is a video on some extra stuff I've added to the hex tile sh uh, sheet, the sprite sheet set. Hello, this is a video that I've created to show you how uh, I've updated the hex tile sprite sheet set. Uh, what I've added is some extra props of little trees and little items and things. And I've also created a copy of the, the original sprite sheet that you had in the first version and turned it into little gradients. Now how I did that is I've renamed, I made a copy of the original sheet and renamed it to blank. So you can always start working from this and as long as you overwrite this hex tile sheet 1A, that, that'll be the one that gets used in the game and as soon as you save over that everything will update. So have a quick look at that, you'll see that it's got these little gradients everywhere and if you look at the blank one, that's the one that was in that was the only one that was in the previous version. So I've did that little update and it looks quite nice. I've also added to the camera a post-processing behavior thing. So you, that's in the asset store called post-processing stack. I did that into the project. Um, you might have to add it yourself. Um, I don't think I can include it. So you add that, you create a, you add component and find post-processing behavior. Then you made up, you make up a little post-processing profile by right-clicking and go to create post-processing profile and just give it a name ppp uh, my profile and then you can start to change some things now I've already done one called hex world and I've already already added the component and added it in here and you can see when I toggle the you know enable or disable it, you can see the change that I've made and if you get to this, you can see I've changed the color grading, I've added some anti-lacing, and the fog doesn't do anything yet. Um, chromatic aberration to stretch the sides, maybe a bit strong, and a vignette just to create this kind of edge shroud. And that's quite nice, so you can change the saturation, contrast, quite easy. <clears throat> and make your game look quite pretty. So. With that added, I can start adding um, some of these little sprites. So now because I'm using this hex, hex grid here, uh, I could make up a new grid, but all these new sprites, they aren't grid based. And I don't have a, a palette made for them for to drag them in here, the same way as these. And you'll see there's like a palette made for this one. Um, so what you want to do is just treat them as normal objects and drag them in. I'll create an empty game object uh, and I'll just call it I'll call it our sprites okay and then we can zoom into this view here don't worry about things not lining up perfect in this view it's because of the, the little floating point offsets but you just want to pick your little props here and you can change the size of this to preview them and then we can start to plop them down now We'll drag them into this sprite area. I don't want to paint anymore with this. So just wondering how to turn this little grid off. Don't quite know yet, but anyway, so we can drag one of these into here. And you see it's quite big, so we'll get loads of room to move with it. I'm just gonna change this to a negative value to bring it over these and I'm going to scale it down oh, it needs moved further okay still quite big now also I think I can change the axis to the center but it's no big deal thinking yeah it should already be in the center but anyway so you start to add some of these little objects to your scene there's a little treasure chest so I'll add that in there I'll call that uh, that'll be cauldron this will be chest So I'll just scale it down 
and then move it where I want it. Um, now instead of scaling all this, I'll just change the Z to zero. And then just keep the the main parent to a negative value. So minus two is probably more than enough. Uh, I'll just rotate around here so I can see front on. Okay, so we'll choose that. Ah, oh, now it's center. There's just a little bit of the angle offset. Let's add in some little bush thing, a little grass things. So just change the Z to zero. Got a grassy bit. Press F to zoom and then scale it down. I mean, these are all probably quite big. They can be really small, like it's a little scene on each tile. And that can be really small. Depends on what your game, what you want your game to look like. So, I can duplicate that. Let's bring in some little trees. Quite big until you scale them down. Okay, I'll speed up the video while I make a little map here. All right, so there you go. I've made up a little scene using the sprites that are available. Uh, obviously you can add your own sprites to the scene quite easy and make them match in with the style. And I think these these ones, they go really well with these hex tiles. So feel free to use them that way. And there is uh, an extended sprites pack on my asset store page where you can get more of these type things. Um, and that's the I think it's called 2D sprites for the environment. Anyway, if you download those, you can add them to the project and you can make more elaborate scenes. But I think that's that's all for this one. And I hope you enjoy using this little asset pack. I'll continue to update it with new tiles and, and extra little sprites. Okay, thanks. Bye.